Hey there, this is Dr. Ophir Isaac coming at you from the Pain-Free Maverick. And today I wanna to talk about something everybody who's a runner out there needs to listen to. You may be a runner and you're totally unaware of the damage you're doing to your knee when you run. I wanna tell you about the top three causes of knee injuries that runners don't even know that they're causing while they're running. So if you love to run, you really should listen to this. The first type of injury that you don't even know that you can be causing is called a medial meniscus tear. The medial meniscus, if you look up over here, the medial meniscus is basically a piece of cartilage in your knee. Cartilage is the soft tissue inside your knee. It's kind of like your ear, it kind of wiggles and it has a little bendability to it. So the medial meniscus, why is it that the medial meniscus and not the outside lateral meniscus gets injured? The medial meniscus is where most of the load or the pressure happens when you run. You're gonna see over here in the video, as this runner is really running, uh, more and more distance, his leg twists in and he puts a lot of pressure. I circled it for you over here. You can see the pressure that he's putting on that medial side. Let me show you where the medial meniscus is. If you're having pain on the inside of your knee, right over here, then that's where most of your damage is gonna happen in your meniscus if you don't change some things about your running. So your meniscus is right over there on the medial joint. Medial means inside of the knee, okay? Lateral is outside. So the medial meniscus is where most of the stuff is happening. And as you can see, runners land on their foot and then their leg twists in and rolls and all the load or pressure happens here. So you can imagine like a hinge. If you keep hinging at something over and over and putting pressure on it, what do you think is gonna happen? You're gonna end up tearing some of the tissue in there and that medial meniscus will get injured. Now let me tell you a little bit about what you'll feel if you have a meniscus injury. Please pay attention to this because if you ignore it, it's gonna become a problem. Right now, you may feel a little pain there. Here's the kind of pain that you may be feeling. I'm a runner, so I know I've had this myself, okay? So here's what you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel that after a run, it's gonna feel like your knee feels jammed up. It's gonna feel like you can't straighten out your knee. You're not gonna be able to totally lock out your knee and do a hamstring stretch like you like to do before you run. Your knee is gonna feel like it cannot straighten. It's also gonna feel like it has a spring in it, like a springy kind of block in it that you can't straighten it out. You're gonna feel like you have to limp a little bit as you start to run. If this is you, the best treatment for this, the best treatment I'm gonna show you at the end of the video, but I'm gonna recommend icing your knee after a run, but I'm gonna show you the treatment in a minute, okay? So that's the first cause of, of, of pain that runners have that they don't even know that they're creating. The second type of pain that you're having in your knee when, you, you, when you're running that is causing you damage that you don't even know you're causing is called the quadricep tendonitis, which is pain up over here. The quadricep, uh, everybody knows the quadricep is this muscle right up in here in my thigh, but the quadricep is this muscle right over here and it enters the kneecap right at the top right there. And the quadricep does this for your knee. It straightens your knee. You know what else the quadricep does? The quadricep helps you decelerate. It helps you when you land, when you run, the quadricep controls the movement and picks up the shock of your knee so you can push off. You can see in the video over here how the quadricep is moving in slow motion. The quadricep is, is a shock absorber of your knee. Now, if you have a weak quadricep, if this is weak, guess what you're gonna get? The second type of pain or flavor that you're unaware of as a runner is called patellofemoral syndrome. Patellofemoral syndrome is right over here. It's the kneecap and your kneecap is right over here and attaches to into your patellar tendon. So you may feel like a smiley face kind of pain right across here, pain right in the center, right there, that feels like a stinging or an aching or even a sharp kind of sensation in, in the middle of your run. So as you're running, you're gonna feel it like you can't keep running anymore. Maybe you'll have pain when getting out of a chair or even climbing stairs and you'll feel it either at the top or over here. Now, how does this happen? Basically, this happens is if you have a very weak quadricep or your hip extensors, these muscles, your buttock muscles, don't work good, so they don't push off when you're running, 
So when you land, you're landing with your leg and you're hyperextending your knee too much, okay? At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you some techniques and exercises that you can do to prevent this from happening. If you're starting to feel even a little bit of this, it's really important that you stop it before it becomes worse and it's gonna stop you from performing and running. And the last one that is completely uh, very common and a lot of runners get this, especially long distance runners. If you're a long distance runner or you're preparing for a long distance marathon, be wary of this one, okay? This is called ITB friction syndrome. ITB friction syndrome is super common um, and you'll feel it right here on the outside of your knee, right over here. And this is called the ITB. You can actually put your finger, go ahead and put your finger on your knee right now. If this is you, you're gonna be feeling a pain or a pinching right up in this area, right over here. Here. The ITB is the iliotibial band. The iliotibial band attaches to the kneecap right over here. So it can create a lot of pain in runners, especially if the runner is running and doesn't realize, if you look in the video, the runner is going to be landing with their foot too close to the other foot, almost like they're running on a straight path or a straight line. Almost like walking the plank, you know, like that. They don't even realize it, but what happens is the, these muscles of the hip again get weak and they don't control. And what happens is the knee lands and starts to roll in like that and puts pressure on the outside. Now this runner over here, you're looking at over here in the video, this runner came to me with this kind of complaint, except he didn't realize that the problem, and you may not realize that the problem, all these knee problems are not caused by the knee. They're actually caused by a nerve in your back that's not feeding the muscles to the buttock muscles to do their job. There's a nerve in your back called the L4 and L5 at the disc level right here in your lower lumbar spine, right over here. That nerve feeds electrical signals to your butt muscles. So your butt muscles hold you in place and keep your pelvis level when you run. You can see in the video over here that his pelvis is dropping. Every time he runs, it's dropping, right? You see that in the slow motion? When you see that, he is not controlling in his lower lumbar like you who's maybe having these symptoms. He was having pain right here in his knee, burning, like a burning sensation. If you're having a burning sensation here in the knee, or in the front of the knee and it, you can't keep running and you have to stop, this is exactly this client of mine that I helped. He couldn't even run a quarter of a mile. He had to stop, he couldn't even run anymore. He's a very fit guy, he's a young man. He had to stop running. So how did I help him? Well, I targeted the problem from where it's coming from. The problem was coming from the weakness of his hip. I had to turn on the L4, L5 nerve to give him power to his gluteus maximus. We did some exercises that I'm specialized in that I created called neurocorrective training. You'll learn about neurocorrective training here at the Pain Free Maverick website. You can read some information about neurocorrective. Neurocorrective training is a very effective tool that attacks where the neuromuscular system is being compromised. The neuromuscular system is what controls all the impact to your knee. But if you don't have good control of the neuromuscular system, you're going to develop these problems. So let me tell you how to fix the pains that you have in the next video. But I'm going to give you one secret thing that you should do after your runs to mobilize your L4, L5, which controls your hip. It's called the lumbar extension. And you can see the video right here at the top. I'm showing you how to do it. I'm showing you this motion and how far you need to go. But this motion right here, leaning back all the way, I'll turn around and show you, is you lean back all the way. And by doing that, you are actually mobilizing the discs of your back. You're opening the L4-5 region and that'll feed electrical signals to the quadricep. Keep enjoying your running and if you have any questions for me, I am happy to help you and answer any questions about your problem. I'm in, the, I'm in the Miami area and I work with runners all the time and I would love to serve you and help you. So go ahead and email me at ophir at allcarept.com or just leave me a comment right here in the video. Thanks.